Somebody were to tell you 36 years ago that somebody was going to come out of the Cocoa Beach slop and become the best surfer who's ever lived, I don't think that they would believe you. Kelly Slater is unquestionably the greatest surfer we've ever seen. There's not even a, a comparison. He's old enough to be the fathers of some of the rookies. As much as like the, the, the Jordy Smith hype and the Dane Reynolds hype and all the other guys. I think Kelly dominates. He's won nine titles. In a sport that you get on runs, it will never be touched. I think the only record he doesn't hold is that he hasn't won every single event. Ever since I was a little kid growing up, he was the main guy that you know everyone looked up to and he still is to this day. And Kelly dominates surfing uh, as Tiger dominates golf, as Lance Armstrong did biking. He's done even more in his sport than those guys have in their respective sport. I mean, there's no question that Kelly has reached a pinnacle in his sport that rarely anybody achieved. I don't even think people realize right now how iconic he will be. And they look at the span of work that he has accomplished over, what, the last 20 years. He's toying with the idea of making another push and shutting the, the next, next generation down. <laughs> Kelly Slater being beyond freak of nature. Freak? Freak. Determined. A miracle. Everywhere. Mental. Unstoppable. Tardy. <laughs> Late. He likes to try and surprise everybody. He has this insane competitive desire. The stamina and dedication, it all just came together for him. He's a freak of a human that has just been an amazing and exciting thing to watch in the sport of, of, of surfing.